hello my friends welcome back to this tutorial so in the last tutorial i uh, mentioned that we would, we would be learning a layout design of inverter uh, in this tutorial but uh, uh, i forgot one part that is uh, waveform analysis and uh, i think we should do that before going to the layout design so today we are gonna do a waveform analysis and maybe uh, once we finish the waveform analysis, we will go for layout design. So, uh, uh, till uh, till last tutorial, we uh, completed uh, schematic of inverter and uh, we did the spice code for to simulate the inverter schematic and we got this waveform. So, this is my input V in and this is my output V out. So uh, now there is a concept of rise time and fall time in the VLSI circuit. So rise time as the name suggests it is uh, time to rise the potential uh, of a node from 0 to the maximum and fall time is exactly opposite, opposite of that it's from 5 to 0. But uh, in order to keep uh, some uh, safe margin uh, we calculated from uh, 0.5 volt to 4.5 volt so uh, basically now uh, we'll redefine the definition of the rise time that is the time required for a particular node to rise from 0.5 volt to 4.5 volt and fall time is exactly opposite of that that is the time required for a particular node to fall down from 4.5 volt to 0.5 volt so uh, if you see our input signal we know that uh, uh, our rise time is 10 nanoseconds and the fall time is also 10 nanoseconds uh, so we'll just uh, see this whether we get the 10 nanoseconds or not in uh, using uh, our spice code uh, actually we'll get the lesser than that because we are saying uh, we are measuring it from 0 0.5 to 4.5 so let's see that uh, we use a dot major statement tran signifies a transient analysis uh, then the name of the uh, the the time that you are measuring so mine is uh, tr specifies rising time you can write anything over there then i say trick trick uh, means trigger so it's a, it, it specifies the starting point so a starting uh, we specify the node over here and then we say the value so my node is in I'm writing in over here because uh, I have created the the pin name in so if you are writing anything over here uh, other than in just uh, write the same name here also because it's the name of the node so we in uh, then you specify the value we want 0.5 so uh, 0 0.5 to 4.5 so keep that in mind we are writing 0 0.5 and we are saying rise equal to 1 we are just specifying the direction of the waveform so it's rising so that's why we said rise 1 uh, if it is falling down we say fall equal to 1 okay then we have TD equal to 0 I'll, later on I'll tell you what what's the use of this TD it's nothing but the delay then we have targ which uh, signifies the target so uh, we need to uh, tell the spice code that where you have to stop so this is it targ v in again the same node okay so because we are we, we are uh, referring to the single waveform over here so when the v in reaches 4.5 volt and the direction is same rising right we'll say apply okay uh, okay just one more thing uh, make sure you have a PWL waveform over here and not the DC waveform only okay so uh, we have a piecewise linear over here okay uh, I'm sorry for this uh, so that's it uh, we'll, we'll run it
लेट ओके इजिकल ट्रेसेस वीन एंड वी आउट ओके ग्रेट I'm sorry, I forgot to change my trans value in the last tutorial. I changed it, and uh, it's the same over here. So this is our waveform. Now we have to see. Uh, uh, we told our spice code to measure the uh, rise time, right? So we get uh, in the go to view and spice error log. Uh, so here we get the rise time value. So tr is the name that we had given in the spice code so tr is equal to the rise time that we wanted to measure so it is 8 nano it is lesser than 10 nano that's what we wanted right so yes our code is working properly i'm sorry okay now we'll measure it for uh, output so uh, our output is gonna fall down when my V in increases, right? So I'm gonna write here output, and I'll just change this. If you want to change, you can change. Otherwise, you can keep it. Or uh, TR only. That doesn't matter. That's just the name, okay? So it's gonna fall down. So it's gonna fall down from 4.5. That's the maximum value to the minimum value, okay? And it's gonna fall, okay? So dark here also we change it to output value 0 0.5 and it's gonna fall okay then we go to tools and we simulate it you can use ctrl l to see the spice lock it's a shortcut key so it is uh, 4.26 nano okay cool uh, now we will see the rise type ok we will see the rise time of the output right. so we will write dot measure uh -huh. I will just copy this one over here mm. so I'll write here output. So this is my TR output 0 0.5 to 4.5 rise output fine and for fall output it's gonna fall from 4.5 to okay, fall uh, again target output 0 0.5 and 4 ok before we do the simulation I just want you uh, to imagine what would be the output uh, since uh, 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 I just want you to ask what would be the expectations do you want the rise time and fall time to be equal or not equal and uh, what will happen if it is not equal and what will happen if it is equal so if your rise time and fall time is not equal uh, basically suppose if you are designing a clock and the rise time and fall time of the clock is not equal and now think you are all the sequential circuit is working on your clock uh, so you are getting unequal time unequal rise and fall that that may uh, uh, that that may lead your device to, uh, circuit to not work properly uh, Whereas uh, rise time and fall time, uh, equal rise time and fall time is what you expect. So if, if those are equal or closer to equal at least, then uh, you could guarantee that your circuit would work properly. Okay, uh, Okay, fine. Now let's see whether we get equal rise time and fall time or not. And we'll see if we are not getting it equal, what we can do to make it equal. Okay, so I'm gonna check control L. Okay, so we have 4.7 and 4.2. That's a difference of 0 0.5 nano. 
so uh, let's see if we if we could uh, reduce this difference okay uh, so one aspect of uh, making rhizome and fall time equal is increasing the size of pmos we make it uh, uh, equal to double the size of the nmos and this is always the case you make your uh, pmos size double that of the nmos size now why to do this the main reason is uh, uh, the carriers in the pmos is holes which uh, which has a mobility half that of electron so electron is basically faster than holes uh, and uh, its speed is twice that of holes so uh, to compensate that we just increase the width. and in your uh, id current formula you have id directly proportional to w by l so if you increase the width your current is going to increase and if you have a high current flowing through your device your capacitance would be uh, raised to the uh, highest potential earlier than expected uh, if you are not familiar with this concept uh, i'll just uh, ask you to go through the concept uh, just google it you will get it or maybe you just uh, comment it on the video and i'll get to you okay so now we have double the size okay control l it's 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 very close it's 4.05 and 4.09 cool so we have got the equal size inverter circuit so that's it for today and in the next tutorial we would be uh, learning more about our spice code and we would be ex basically experimenting with our spice code so uh, see you guys there till then bye bye